You are already dead. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place, thought to be abandoned, revealed some surprises. Sounds of recent occupation, as well as partly charred painting. Interrupted in his search by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. The police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. Good part of the day. I'll go back to some more Call of Cthulhu 2018. Why has he got a scar running up and down his mouth? His face. Well, that does sound kind of weighty, doesn't it? Well, here we are, Hawkins Mansion. Did no one think to get a tree surgeon? Man. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Winchester? I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? Well, I'm fairly sure the nice people are going to want to know all of this. Hmm. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. Huh. It's really that old. Come on, let's leave the stories of the dead alone. They've nothing to do with your case anyhow. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Your partner Andrews warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. He inferred that old Silas was... Slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he oh, got nowhere okay. to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee. If you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you, if only to reassure Silas. Yeah, why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. It's nice to see, like, the whole area, the whole thing about, um, Dark Horn of the Earth was that, like, Everyone seemed to be in the, on the occultism, bar one or two people, and it's nice to see that theme has kind of stayed. I understand that, you know, I don't think they're actually, these two games that are, are, um, you know, um, related to each other. Uh, but, kind of got to compare the two, considering 
There's pretty much the only two Call of Cthulhu games out there. Oh, let's read the... Yeah. Alphys Brady drove us up to... Bradley, not Brady. Drove us up the cliffs to Darkwater to the Hawkins Mansion, a huge house set on the edge of a steep summit. Looks onto the lighthouse. The place seems to be abandoned for some time. I mean, probably about three months, say? Bradley told him there was no caretaker still living here. Shouldn't prevent us from getting into the mansion. Uh, well, you weren't kidding. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? No, we need to go inside. Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. He was a well-respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. I think Silas did it. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Mm, okay. Let's go to the mansion. Please Not the give kids. Me a I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. Poor Mark kid. A deranged individual who defiled this sanctuary. Poor kid. A burnt painting. I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Oh, this place is just... Classic spooktastic, isn't it? Someone need, just, just needed to get some sort of tree surgery going on around here. Knock these down. Put some lights up. I'll put some bunting up for crying out loud. Anything. Ugh. More crows. Can do anything with this? Yeah. Burn it or something. <laughs> no. Okay. Officer? You coming? Hello? I'm going to hazard a guess that no one's going to be at the door. Yeah. <coughs> Would even wear uh, live on those anyway. Oh, that's handy. This entrance is still in use. Whoa! Whoa! You were trying to force the door, you nosy prick! Easy, sir, all right? Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them! Dump them into the ocean! Whoa. That's not a great voice for him. Uh, you're... Mr. Winchester, lower that axe. And let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. Sarah Hawkins' father sent me here to investigate the death of his daughter. Webster, huh? I understand how he feels. But me? I want the dead to rest in peace. And that means kicking the ass of gumshoes like you. Why would you not want me to help understand what happened here? I've got nothing to hide. Tell me what you're doing here. And no baloney. The police report describes a domestic accident. But Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule. And I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of 
his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. The mansion isn't safe. You would break your neck as sure as you're trying my patience right now. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Hmm. Hmm? No one lives in the mansion, and you don't take care of it anymore. If you have a good reason to be here, I'm listening. There's vermin. I keep an eye out. Vermin? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Vermin. Right. This is what we're going to do. I go inside, and I promise that I'll hunt vermin. Okay with you? Mm, I'm not sure. If there's nothing else to fear, you can give me that key. Right. Take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then. Just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, hi there, officer. Not that you helped or anything. Piers, shall we enter? Now that you've finished your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. Stop bothering me. You Stop bothering me. Running to me. Let's take a look inside. I'm with you. Here's another pretty explore the gardens of the Hawkins Mansion. The family lies in the graveyard of the property guarded by Silas Winchester. The old caretaker, still faithful to his employees, keep watch on the place, armed with his axe. Here's a rally managed to calm him down. Well, I think. Pierce managed to calm me around and finally get a hold of the key to the mansion. Into the building, look for the scene of the fire. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? Who oh, left this light on? Oh, we got some things to do. Investigation? Full investigation? Or we could go for eloquence. Hmm. 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 Strength, I think, is okay at three. Anything around here seems a bit psychology. Presential knowledge in your... Yeah, I think we'll go with this because I kind of think we kind of need to further up, don't we? Okay. Over here, no. The Last Supper of the Hawkins. What does this tell me? Apparently I have magic reconstruction abilities. Sure. Oh. This roast. What strange creature has flesh like this? This place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. The boy was probably here, smashed his plate on the floor. Who was the lady over here? Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? Need the reconstruction of the scene hold. Hmm. Hey Pierce. Daydreaming again. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. Let's see if Silas I can find managed something to bring that the fire under this. control. But it was already too late for the Hawkins. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's use your magical ability to go back in time. They had a fight. Why? Did it stop at the time of the fire? Oh, hi. Did Sarah Hawkins lose one of her shoes? How? 
I know it's down here. Booze. Is Charles Hawkins a heavy drinker? Oh. Hmm. Okay. The child's corpse left a trace. Where are the others? Uh, must be over here, surely? Did someone escape the fire? Hmm. It says we're done, but I'm not sure. Blood. This lamp was thrown. This was no accident. This was a fight. Someone fell here. A desperate attempt to flee. You were Silas. So, detective, what do you make of it? I firmly believe this fire was more than just an accident. Huh. What's your theory? Crime of passion? Harson? I think the Hawkins couple got into a fight. You sure of that? There's only one way to be sure. How is this going to be sure if we go in here? Hmm. I just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Well, give me a minute. Ah, uh, yeah, let's put some more into psychology. This door is locked. Thanks. I'm in. Ooh. Sixteen. All right. Oh, this percentage is, is a percentage of the maximum, I assume. That makes sense. Okay. These bandages are covered in dried blood. The same bandages that I saw in the warehouse on the docks. And given the blood stains, I'd also say that it's the same person. There's a little... No, not paper or anything like that. Oh, this place kind of reminds me of... Um, the place from... What was it called? Amnesia. The lyrics of the drunken sailor. The sea shanty. An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, dated 1818. Wow. Look at this place. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. But if you're right, we should be able to find clues among the Hawkins' personal effects. Did you hear that? This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. Hmm. 
This place was falling apart long before the fire. I guess so. Okay. There's something disturbing about this painting. Art painting. Mm. Oh. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. I think we'll continue the investigation next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Your friends will abandon you.